Welcome back to Kinga Retail. Today we are opening a new grocery store called Henches. Let's get started. So we're in entrepreneur mode. I've already got my logo and things set up. So we're going to start a new store. Start a new game. Uh, we don't need to borrow with that. I'm fine and we'll minimize that. So the aim of this series is going to be to make a grocery store um, or a supermarket that's similar to my local supermarket. So let's start out by getting our storage, I think, sorted. So this is actually the first time I've had a go at um, doing a grocery store. So hopefully it'll go relatively smoothly. So my local supermarket actually sells clothes as well. So we may have a clothing aisle at some point. I think that should be enough storage for now. I get a third. I'll see how much money you got. I've got left. But I may get a third pallet. Register. So I'd like one of these registers, but they are quite expensive. Three thousand. So we are going to go for a kind of a white and yellowish theme. Yeah, well, let's just get one of them. That's fine. So I think we'd probably want it to go that way. So I'm hoping the customers will kind of queue up this way. Pay and then make their way out. We'll find out. We can always move it around if, um, if that's not the case. So I think we're going to start off with fruit. So at the front of the uh, my local store, they have got these things. So I think we all have them at the front first. Maybe just as you walk in. And they are quite cheap. So we can just put fruit on them to begin with. Let's just have a look what articles we can actually uh, we can actually buy. So we've got quite a selection of fruit. Is it fruit or is it all veg? I've got pieces of fruit. Bananas, yeah. Pineapple. I think so. I think we're going to go with apples, bananas. They pears, then they're pears. And then at the back, we'll kind of so yeah, that's the best. Then I want you then other things. So them ones. Left fifteen hundred. Mm, 
and line them up nicely. I think that's going to be okay there. We probably will end up moving all this along a little bit. Because we won't be able to go any further backwards because of the staff room. Right, so... Let's get ordering some stock. I oh, need to buy a marketing, marketing computer first. I always forget about that. Marketing. So we've got 8,000 left. So we're definitely going to order our apples. I've no idea how many you need. Uh, bananas as well. This one gets 20 pairs. Now, are they potatoes? I think they are. So behind, I think we'll put them. So we'll get 20 of them. Some of them. And what else should we have? Broccoli, we'll have that. Right, we'll order them items. So I'm hoping we've got enough room to put all this stuff. Let's request a delivery. We've still got actually quite a bit of money left, 4,200. So I don't know whether to actually decorate or just save my money and then decorate a bit further along. Let's just see how much stuff we've got first. I think we are going to get another pallet. Probably ordered way too much stuff, but never mind. Let's unpack some of this. I may even be able to get some more shelving. So we've got pears. I'm sure they're potatoes. Potatoes. Let's go and put these out then. So, see how these work. Okay, so pairs are going on the bottom shelf. Luckily, I ordered quite a few. That then gives us a few left to um, restock when uh, they hopefully get sold. Let's put the potatoes out as well, so... I think we're going to put them in both sections on this one. Hopefully we've got some more in one of these boxes. Maybe we don't. Oh, we just already. Okay, let's unpack them. 
There's broccoli in this one as well, so we might as well put that out. So I've got a feeling I'm going to need someone, a member of staff, to help me stock every day quite quickly. Just because I'm guessing some of this stuff goes pretty quickly. Let's pop that out. That's enough potatoes. We'll get this one. I'm going to just put one on the top, like so. And I got some cucumbers as well. So let's put the cucumbers and I oh, did get a lettuce. Okay, I may have to remove some of the potatoes. Let's put the bananas out. There we go, so let's go along. Oh, so you can even fit. It looks like there's one bunch of bananas in that crate. Didn't, I'm sure I ordered some more bananas. Yes, I did. So I may actually do two levels of um, apples. Hopefully I've got enough. Kinda of guessing apples are the most popular fruit that we've got. Right, let's fill all them up. You so get quite a few apples per carton on these ones. A bit better than the um, bananas. So I think the storage room is going to be uh, expanded quite a lot. What other fruit have we got out? So I might see if I can get another um, shelving unit. Uh, let's have a look which one we can get. So we could get a couple more of them. Or do we get one of them? Right, so my local store does have like a few rows of these, so I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So 
So, have we got any more room to unpack any of this stuff? Right. Oops. Let to do that. We're going to put broccoli back on that one. Which will get some of that out. This one is going to be lettuce, but we need some more lettuce. Have we unpacked, unpacked any lettuce yet? So let's unpack these apples and we'll get them out. Hopefully we may have enough room. No, we haven't. Okay. more packs of apples so we might end up buying some more apples so don't really want to have any empty shelves on the first day of opening and we'll unpack unpack this these boxes I think that's lettuce so these are going to go on the far on this one. So we're not far off. That should hopefully give us enough to cover all this. Yep, there we go. So we just need some more apples, which let's place an order now, because then we can have them delivered now. Let's put a 10 more. I think they're delivered for free, so means I'm going to be facing the wall, but never mind. So maybe I have to move all this along a little bit later. Let's unpack my apples. So, I think I am going to decorate, just to make it look a little bit nicer. That one probably looks something like you'd have in a grocery store, maybe a bit lighter. Yeah, I think we'll go for that one. And walls, we probably just want white uh, or a whitish colour. Yeah. Kind of a off white, I think, anyway. There we go, so it's looking pretty good. So if you're wondering if you, how you add these logos onto into your game, um, I have got a video uh, that you should check out that tells you exactly how to do it.
Right, I think we will open this door. So we actually ended up spending all our money there. So we're on minus 70. So hopefully we'll make quite a bit of money on the first day. Let's just have a look what the e emails are. Okay, so we're not really interested in either of them. So we'll delete them. The store is going to be open till 9 till 5, I think. We're not going to get any members of staff yet. Right, so let's start the first day of the store opening. Fingers crossed we'll make enough money on the stuff we've got here to have another day. So I may start to add the um, add a bit more time on the end of the day. Uh, so we're closing at five at the minute, but uh, supermarkets don't normally open for that short amount of time. So we'll probably increase that at some point. So the idea will be we have a big fruit and veg section here. Further back, we'll then have refrigerators. And then going down here, we'll have more um, just shelving. May have a mini clothing section in the middle. And all the registers will go down here. Well, I'm not sure how many registers we'll actually need. Let's open this up ready. Anyone going to come in for some food? So we've not had one person in yet. Come on. Come and buy some stuff. Some nice apples. Maybe not. So it will be interesting to see how many of the uh, customers ask for help. You don't normally ask for help when you're buying food. Well, I don't anyway. Oh, you coming in? Nope. Oh, we may have a first person in. Yep. Some apples, bananas, some bananas. Anything else? Okay, so clearly I've got that the wrong way around. Hundred and sixty on bananas, thank you us. Let's uh might as well restock that. Can we move this round quickly? Let's close it. Spin it round. Kinda just makes sense that it's that way. You load your groceries on here, then shift them over there. Not quite sure what he bought. So we've got a bit of a crowd of people coming in now. Oh my life, where have all these people come from?
I think these are the tourists that uh, that email was talking about that I didn't read. So it looks like these are going to strip my shelves. Although, not a huge amount of them are actually buying anything much. So the queue that way. Interesting. Yeah, so some of them are going to work off, seeing as I haven't, I can't check these in quick enough. It looks like we've sold quite a bit of stuff. It looks like most of them bought broccoli. No idea why, but 260, wow. You can buy quite a bit of stuff. There we go, so let's go and get these shelves restocked. Oh, potatoes went as well. Hey. You know I can't come and help you buy your shopping. So not, no one's touched any of this stuff. So I think what we'll do is we'll go on times three so we can finish this day off. Hopefully we'll get some final customs in. We have got 1500 in the bank so we've not done too bad. Yeah, buy some of that. No one's bought any of that yet. So remaining two hours. So I don't think we'll be expanding the shop anyway tomorrow. I think all we're going to be able to do is restock. Probably not going to be able to get any stuff yet either. But that's okay. I think she picked a couple of things up. Yep, 260. So that's the end of the day. So we've not done, a, we've got 2000 in the bank, so we've had a pretty good day actually, I think, for it, our first day. Shelves are still looking relatively full, so we do still have some stock left. Let's just go and have a quick look at the figures. So 18 customers. 1.2 basket size, average sale of 117. So that, I think that's pretty good. Right, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want something else to watch, I've already done a King of Retail series on doing a tech store. Why not go and check that out? Give us a like on Twitter, at TechHench, and see you next time.